whenever there would be any really cat catastrophe that was on, on the, in the movies or, or on the air, she would say, always look for the helpers. There, were, there will always be helpers. Welcome to Values. I'm Shaquille Dalal. This week we're interviewing helpers, people who are responding to the crisis of the coronavirus by reaching out to the community and providing services to support other people. I'm here today with Isaac Olson. He's the head trustee of Elks Lodge number 1055. Isaac, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. Can you tell me about the Elks? Absolutely. So the Elks is a community-based organization in Longmont that's been around since 1906. Uh, and we are solely focused on providing our community with uh, certain programs that help unite the community, but also help in a time of need. How many people are members of the Elks Lodge? Currently, our membership is right around 300 people. I believe we just hit our 299 uh, membership last week. You're younger than most Elks that I think about. How long have you been involved with the Elks Lodge? I have been a member at the Elks Lodge for three years this season. Uh, and so April 1st would be my third year associated with the Elks Lodge. So you mentioned that the Elks is a community-focused organization. Can you talk about some of the services that you guys typically offer to the community? Yes, so especially in such a time of crisis, we do offer uh, medical rental programs, we offer different veteran services. Uh, we currently, uh, in the time of crisis, are opening up a food truck park in the parking lot to support uh, the small of smaller businesses in order for them to try to keep their head above uh, the sea level, so to speak, at this point. Um, and then we do offer uh, different membership check-in services, especially for the 300 members that we have. Uh, myself being 32, I am on the younger side of the membership. Uh, we do have a lot of individuals that are members that are 60 and above uh, that could be very horribly impacted by this virus. Uh, we were trying to keep in touch with them to see if they need any medical needs, if they need somebody to go shopping for them, uh, just trying to touch base with them to see what we can do for them. Can you tell me a little bit about the medical supply rental program you run? Yes, so for individuals that are coming out of surgery, uh, for the elderly, for individuals that may need a piece of medical equipment that they cannot afford, uh, we do have a medical rental program uh, which allows individuals to come and stop by the lodge, rent a wheelchair, rent a walker, grab some canes, uh, whatever would help that individual recover quicker uh, at no charge to them. And what about the veteran services that you provide? Uh, the veteran services, uh, on a normal basis, we will collect different canned food items, packs of cards and whatnot to try to help the veterans uh, get through times of crisis um, and just check in with the different veterans that are associated with the lodge to be able to kind of help them uh, cope and uh, succeed. I'm really interested in the food truck program you're running, especially now that dine-in service has been suspended for all restaurants in the state. There's a lot of concern in the public about you know, beloved neighborhood restaurants going under simply because, you know, there's not enough customers. Can you tell me about the impetus for the food truck program? Absolutely. Uh, so food trucks uh, do not have the luxury most of the time to have a brick and mortar restaurant. And so it is very difficult for them in such a time of crisis when dine-in uh, establishments are closed. Uh, we as uh, food truck owners rely on different establishments to provide locations for us to sell food. And so when those close, uh, businesses are completely shut down and shattered. Not to say that brick and mortars themselves aren't experiencing the same thing. Food trucks get it hit a little bit harder because it's normally a one staff uh, or one owner kind of relation with the business. And so we were reaching out due to the fact that the Elks, Elks in Longmont have closed their doors to any individuals coming into the building. Uh, we have been uh, formulating a plan to have a pop-up food truck park on the outside in the parking lot. Uh, we have plenty of space. It would essentially be a carry-in, or excuse me, carry-out, call-ahead, take-out service where you can call the individual food trucks booked for that day, uh, order food, come in curbside and pick up. So we're really trying to do our due diligence and be proactive um, with the mandated 30-day closure of dine-in restaurants uh, to support the individuals in that industry that are collapsing a little bit quicker. Where is the Elks Lodge located? Uh, it's 306 Kaufman Street in Longmont, right on the corner of 3rd and Kaufman. Uh, and that building has been there forever. You can't miss it. How have the operations of the Elks Lodge changed in response to the coronavirus? That's really a tough one, just due to the fact that um, we are a nonprofit based organization. Uh, we do make 
some profits through our members in order to pay staff uh, to keep utilities and different things going like that. With the closure of the doors, all of our uh, staff have been temporarily relieved of duties. Uh, we are working through continuing to pay them uh, just due to the fact of you know their membership and just the community-based mentality of the Elks themselves. Um, our programs have kind of diminished a little bit, and that was one of the reasons why we wanted to speak upon if you still need something within your community, do not be afraid to reach out to the Elks Lodge, because we will do what we can uh, to support individuals within the Longmont community. For the food truck program, how often is it running right now? What are the times? Uh, so we have not technically opened the food truck program just due to the fact of how everything has progressed so quickly over the past few weeks, even the past days, 48 hours. Uh, we formulated this plan literally within 24 hours of uh, establishment shutting down uh, to dine in and whatnot for the restaurant industry. And so we're opening the doors for the food truck program uh, March 23rd at three o'clock. Uh, we're going to be running it through um, Monday through Sunday, each day doing three to seven, uh, unless hours need to change due to availability of trucks or actually the call of people wanting to come and get food. If people want to offer help to you, how can they do that? What, what sorts of help do you need? Uh, for the Alks Lodge right now, uh, we just need, well, first and foremost, community support. Uh, just knowing that we are there for our community, people reaching out and offering different services. I just talked to a gentleman in the lobby that is working for another nonprofit. Uh, we are actually just through that conversation, uh, collaborating with different things that we can do for food industry individuals and their nonprofit. So if I could, stress anything right now in this time. It's the community coming together to support the community um, and just allowing people the feeling of calm during uh, kind of all the calamity to realize that there are people out there that are willing to help other individuals. So. If someone wants to offer help, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, the best way to reach me, you can do it through email, um, which we'll post on the, on the site. And you can also contact the lodge directly, uh, which is 303-776-1055. Uh, and then I'll also have other contact information from my business uh, contact as well. Isaac, thank you very much for your time and work today. Stay healthy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you.